All right, and here's my project today. I'm gonna strip this down. Got the actual hard drive kind of zip tied in there. Got its actual stick of RAM now, some root jaw. And I'm gonna put windows back on this and get this thing permanently mining. So, and then I'll show you guys how to do the uh, VRAM, the virtual memory, uh, not the VRAM, but the virtual memory update uh, so you can get a large number of GPUs working as well. All right. So this is kind of what I have. I have to redo it. I haven't even test fired it yet. Looks just a little bit better. It's not all over the place. Got the little power button over here. Let's see if she works. slides up and we're good there it is nice all right it's time to get this thing set up so I'm gonna get it set up get the drivers installed um, and then I'll show you guys the uh, virtual memory fix okay so I got this rig up and running and I'll show you guys what happens when you just try to mine uh, with like over eight GPUs, it seems. Um, it'll, it won't be able, it'll have this error. See how it says failed, can't uh, to allocate memory buffer, and then stopped mining. So when you see that, um, what you have to do is you got to come over to your Explorer. You got to go to this PC, right click in the white, click properties, go to advanced system settings, and click... Uh, under performance, you got to click settings, go to advanced, and then click where it says virtual memory. You have to change this. So um, uncheck, uncheck the automatic box, click custom size. Like I said, for me, I found 64,000 to be the key number for my 11 GPUs. You click set okay and it will have to restart before it uh, takes effect so I will restart it and I will um, resume the video after it comes back all right so I'm back on the windows got my tunes all in my cards I'll show you guys that it's still showing 64,000 on the virtual memory all right, settings, advanced, 64,000, right, if you check it. And I make the minimum the same as the maximum. Seems to work better that way. Um, all right, and now, let's see if it will mine or if it's gonna have the same issues creating the DAGs. Here it goes. So it's creating the DAG files. And there it goes, starts passing. No more error. So that's all you have to do if you encounter that, you know, out of memory, no frame buffer uh, error after you add, you know, 
your ninth or tenth GPU, it's going to start doing that to you. So, um, just something to be aware of, and uh, that's how you fix it. Um, also, uh, a little review of this little board here. Absolutely, I absolutely recommend it. Uh, this board has been fantastic. I'm going to order more of these for rigs if I continue to build 12 GPU rigs. I will be ordering more of these, but uh, just couldn't be happier with it. Um, even though it's damaged, it seems to be working. One of the easiest ways I have found so far to put uh, 12 GPUs on one motherboard. So, um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. It's not the fastest computer. Um, it does need, if you buy the kit with the CPU and the, and the 4 gigs of RAM, if you want to use Windows at least, it still does need um, a, a RAM upgrade. So you need about 8 gigs of RAM to do uh, 12 GPUs on Windows. It uses probably about 4.4 uh, to 5 gigs, just depending on what you have open. So, um, but yeah, I'm very happy with it, and uh, we'll be buying more in the future.